Hey there, Ricardo here, DiverseSolutions.com, and today I thought I'd talk about a DS search agent feature that I think could be better utilized. And that feature is creating custom links. Custom links, you can create a link to a subset or all of the properties in your MLS defined by specific search parameters. What that essentially means is that you can take the IDX map search and place it on the landing page, such as a neighborhood page, or a featured listings page where you might want to display a specific set of listings and rather than displaying the default map search where you have to click on the search panel and insert your criteria it's going to display results instead so if you're using an agent ID or an office ID it's going to display the results tab with the property markers and your search already conducted and it'll do that that's perfect or that's the perfect way of creating an already a, a, a search to be displayed on a page if it's to serve as a landing page as I said for specific communities so let's go through an example here you might have here's your control panel and you're gonna go to DS search agent and click on links and from there you'll see a little section on the right hand side where it says create new link well you're gonna go ahead and cr click on create new link I'm going to go ahead and select uh, SoCal MLS from my drop down menu. You won't have to select anything here. This is only if you're approved with multiple MLSs. But here, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Los Angeles and then homes between 300,000 to 400,000. In this case, you just want to title your link anything that this is more sort of for your internal filing purposes. And in here, rather than setting the landing page to a search page, well, if the user's clicking on a specific tab that I went ahead and populated, I want it to pull up the results. I don't want them to have to conduct a search. So I'm going to click on results page. That's what I want them to show. And then I want to set my sort option by uh, price in ascending order. Down below, I'll go ahead and include or re add or remove any search panels. So from here, I might move any search panels that I might want to deactivate over to the disabled panel section so if I don't want people to search foreclosures and REOs I'll go ahead and move that over to the right hand side and it's now in my disabled panels down below is where I can then go ahead and insert all of my various parameters in this case I've chosen Los Angeles as my city so I'll go ahead and type that in there and my price range is between 300,000 and 400,000 if I want to include any other parameters, I could go ahead and type them on in there. And then down below, if I have my agent ID or office ID in my account, I'll just click on use my agent ID or use my office ID. As you see, we have a bunch of other filters that you can go ahead and include, including school districts, foreclosures, pre-foreclosures, so on and so forth. Down below, I'll go ahead and select the property types. So I'll do single family, residential all, so on and so forth, residential condos. I can select whatever property types I want to include and any additional features that I want to include. You'll notice a button here that says refresh sample results. If you click on that, it'll refresh and provide a list of what's to be seen when you save your link. So here it's showing 81 results for my criteria. I'll go ahead and click on save link and it'll render that link within this space here so if I search for it Los Angeles between three and four hundred thousand there it is now what I want to do is I want to take that custom link I want to take that HTML code and put it on a page of my site so down below I'm gonna go ahead and select or where it says target link I'll click on that drop down and I'll look for the title of the new link that I've created So here it is, Los Angeles between three and four hundred thousand. And over on the right hand side, you'll notice uh, that uh, new frame HTML code go ahead went ahead and populated. On the left hand side, one more thing I want to point out here. See where it says display on page load? When this page loads, I can go ahead and select something like display the registration page. So if I click on that radio button, it slightly changes my code. And what happens is I'm going to copy and paste that HTML code, log into my WordPress site, I'll click a new page to display that search. 
So I might title this Los Angeles. You can title this something entirely different. This is just an example. In HTML view, I go ahead and copy my code. I'm looking to do a full width template, so under my layout settings, I'm going to select full width and hit publish. When this page loads, here's what I get. I'm searching homes for sale in Los Angeles between three and four hundred thousand. My registration page automatically loaded because that's what I've set it to within the custom links options. But if I close that out, you see the results tab and then the property markers on the page for the search that I've already conducted. A good example of this in action is skyrealtyaustin.com. You'll notice that on their home search, if you look in different areas, they went ahead and took a additional step, which is in each of the areas, they included some descriptive text as to what specifically makes up that area. So here, as you can see, Central Austin Homes and Real Estate. Central Austin was and is today one of the most sought after locations to live in the Austin area, so on and so forth. Here's what makes up the Austin, the Central Austin uh, real estate area. If I click on North Austin, again, you have a little bit of descriptive text as to what makes up the community, and then your search page loads or your results page loads along with the pop up for registration. So I hope that's useful. You can create custom links, insert whatever uh, parameters you want. You can set the registration page to appear on default. That's what I would do if I was building out community pages to go ahead and attract some IDX registrations. Hope that's felt helpful. Catch you on the next one.